right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a westbound on the Transcon main one stag train main one. Again, I was editing videos and this one snuck up on me. Plus, it's a wee bit hot out there, so I decided to shoot this one from the air condition. This is train number 14 today, number 14, here in Gibbon Junction in Gibbon, Nebraska. Again, on Union Pacific's busiest line, set a rail and their, uh, and their system. I cannot remember where the other junction is west of North Pratt, but from here in Gibbon, to Gibbon Junction to that junction, this section of rail sees more trains than any other Union Pacific rail. Of course, Bailey Yard, the largest rail yard in the world is uh, just west of here so any manifest you see is ending at Bailey and starting at Bailey eastbound started at Bailey westbound are getting, going to get classified there the only stuff that does not get classified there are the unit trains some unit trains fill that And these intermodals, they usually just get refueled and recruited. And there's our rear DRP. Rear DRP. Another westbound on Main One on the Transcon. Rail Fanning Adventures. My name's Rich Bernard, and I am the founder. All right, Rail Fanning Adventures. My name is Rich Bernard, and I am the founder of Rail Fanning Adventures. I am here at Gibbon Junction in Gibbon, Nebraska on a beautiful Sunday. Beautiful Sunday. And coming westbound on Main 1 on the Transcon line uh, appears to be a manifest. Comes a manifest on Main 1. Been here all day. This is train number 17 today. I got here early afternoon, probably like 11 o'clock. Uh, this train will terminate at uh, Bailey Yard, be reclassified, and then come out as a different train. That's what happens with all the manifests you see on this one. I don't know where this train started, but it will end at Bailey Yard. Be uh, reclassified on the westbound pump, and then come out as new training and do its journey. This is westbound on Main 1. A westbound on Main 1. A short, most likely either an extra or possibly even a local. I don't know. It had road power on it, but uh, it was fairly short for the trains out here. Again, Rail Fanning Adventures. My name is Rich Bernardin, and I am the founder of Rail Fanning Adventures. How are you? Uh, been here at Gibbon Junction pretty much all day. Between here and Kearney, uh, go down to Kearney to get something to eat. There's, 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 there's some cases right here in Gibbon. Uh, 
As you can see behind me is where all the rail come together. Uh, this side being the Marysville sub. This side being the Transcon. That is looking west. This is looking east. Marysville Transcon. So pretty cool. Now, uh, oh, geez. main one on the Marysville sub connects to main two on the Transcon literally right here. Right there. That's the two tracks together that form Union Pacific's three track main, which on their, uh, on their entire system, this is the busiest section of track for Union Pacific. They are still doing track work. Unfortunately, uh, well, there was a derailment right here in Gibbon. Uh, there was a derailment just east of here. Uh, you can see down there on the left-hand side, there's still some well car. Technically, that wasn't a derailment. Uh, the weather blew um, uh, double stacks over and unfortunately uh, basically took took the uh, traffic stopped all traffic on the on the main line here uh, that was a couple months ago i got pictures of it somewhere if you go back in the history of rail fanning adventures i'm sure you'll find it there's new signals being put in here and right behind me they'll be active pretty soon they're replacing the, the uh all the signals because uh, I believe it was a single track here. There's also a Y here, uh, just east of here, so that you can come off the Marysville sub and run east. Um, like I said, this is a very, very busy section of the track. Bailey Yard is that way. Uh, for all of you that don't know, Bailey Yard is the largest rail yard in the world. The largest rail yard in the world. I think they said they handle something upwards of uh, 3,000 cars a day. That's just the manifest trains. Uh, there was a movie about this section of rail here. It was uh, by UP. It was called 150 Trains a Day. Um, now, when they made that movie, uh, coal, they were running a lot of coal out of the Powder River Basin. But with the... Uh, uh, well, with the political climate, you know, coal is bad. You can't use coal. Uh, there, there isn't that many. Um, from the guy that was giving us a tour, they would do about uh, 50. They did 51 coal, coal trains in one day. So, minus that, they're doubling trains now. UP calls them mega trains. It's basically two trains in one. So that cut down on the number of trains going through here, you know. And then, of course, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you know, with, with, with uh, precision rail, um, that cut down the amount of trains going and coming out of the Bailey Yard. Um, so, Rich Bernard, founder of Rail Fanning Ventures, here at Given. I'm going to stay in Given pretty much until it gets dark. I might try to uh, record tonight. Uh, I have my phone, which amplifies light. I'm going to give it a shot. I got my headlights in my truck to hide me from stuff. But we'll give that a shot. If not, I'll probably head in down to uh, Kearney and uh, record it down there. Some more ambient light and stuff. So, August 14th, 2022. I am the founder. Awesome. Love seeing the videos and pictures. Guys, I love seeing all the pictures and videos you guys post. Uh, I'm a fan. I work for rail. I'm also a fan. So, keep up the great work. And thanks for being part of this.